Hello, welcome back. So happy to see all of you. We are going to be rhinestoning today. So got my supplies. I got this box here. So I'm gonna show you what's inside this box first before we get started. Let's go. All right, so what this is, is just a little mini, because we're doing rhinestones. So, I, you know, I had to get something for it. But this is like a little mini rhinestone thing. You can, and you can even take it on the go. It's real slim and compact, but I thought it was adorable. And I really, you know, I didn't know where to go to purchase one, but I, I seen lots of great uh, reviews for Dino's tumblers. So I thought this would be a great starting point for me. And then if I decide I want to get, because I thought about getting a new little mini one for my desk here. So I thought about doing that. So I think this is a great starting point to kind of see the material, see how stuff is made. And it's so cute and it's so nice. And I can't wait to use this, but this is for doing rhinestones. So it didn't come with the Foam, foam pieces but I think you can order those but I already had like a foam some foam pieces that I'm going to use to put onto it so that's all I'm going to do so I'm going to use this as an example because I, I actually thought about we might put some rhinestones on this and you just slip your foam piece in there and then it has this little push button there so that way you can snap it right on I'm gonna slide that on just a little bit more so it's not so far down. There we go. And then it's just as simple as turning this little wheel. You can glam up your, your tumblers so that way it's not resting on the table and you don't accidentally hit anything. All right, I'm gonna push this off to the side for now. Like I said, I might come back through. I might add a couple little things on this, we'll see. I'm gonna start off with something small though uh, for my rhinestoning project. I'm just gonna start off with my X-Acto knife. And then if I feel up to it, I may come through and rhinestone, because this one's finished, because you wanna do it on a finished surface. I th I'm thinking I might come through and rhinestone the little decals in, the, in, in this. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to kind of prep my area to do my rhinestone, so. I don't have a cool little shaker dish. I just have my epoxy coaster. I, that's what I'll put my stuff in. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart, kind of prep it a little bit, take off any oils or anything like that, maybe rough it up just a tad, and then we'll get started with rhinestoning it. Got my stuff kind of set up here. I went ahead and I did, I just did like really light grit sand, sanding block on it since I'm gonna to be touching it a lot. So I'm just kind of roughed up the surface and wiped it clean. This here that I'm holding it on, I bought this a while back. This is just a pen turner attachment piece that I got at, where did I get the Hobby Lobby, I think? I think it was Hobby Lobby. But it comes with the little metal poles and the little rubber stoppers to put it onto the little wand thing. So I figured I could just hold on to that. All right, I got my my glue and my little syringe thing. It did come with a uh, chart here. I, I hope I got the right size. I just got this orange one, so hopefully that's okay. Hopefully. All right, <laughs> All right so I'm just gonna get started with this side because this little metal piece wouldn't come off of it. I don't know if you guys have the same exacto knife. Where did I get mine? It was either Hobby Lobby or Michael's is where I got it. But I'm gonna start my rhinestone line right around that so that way they can kind of settle down onto that. So all I'm gonna do is get my line going here of my glue. I don't, why am I so nervous? I don't know why I'm so nervous right now. Okay, I don't want too much glue because you don't want it popping out. I hope I'm not getting too much glue on here. I am not a professional. Some of you are probably watching this like, oh my Lord. Just a thin bead of glue. I figured this was a good starting point for me. So, 
And I think what you want to do is you just kind of want to got my little pencil. I'm just going to pick it up and plop it down. And I'm just going to rest it right on that metal piece there. So I'm just gonna come through and make sure this line is nice and straight. And then I'm going to let this dry for a little bit so that way it doesn't move around on me. Good starting point for everything I wanna do after this. All right, this is a little bit dry now. Pretty much with this, I don't, I'm not, I don't have any type of pattern going here. I know there's different patterns and stuff, but I don't really have like a pattern in mind, so I guess this is what you would call a scatter method because it's just going to be a bunch of different sizes all in there. Uh, you guys let me know. I, I know there's some of you out there that are like, this is all you do. So <laughs> like I said, this is a great beginner's thing because it doesn't really matter. It's just my my uh, exacto knife here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my glue going some more. And then I'm just going to randomly, maybe I'll start adding some bigger ones in there if I can get them turned around. I guess this is why you guys have those trays. Now, I don't want too many, too many big ones. I want it to still be easy to hold. It's going to nestle everything down in there. Add Ryan, little, little baby rhinestones here and there. Maybe as fillers, I'll do that. But yeah, if you guys are like on the fence, like, I don't know if I want to do that. Just start with something small like this, you know, just, just start with something small. Something that you use so that way you can kind of show it off, you know, if you like it. <laughs> so that's why I decided to use this because then I can show it off and be like, hey, look what I made, you know. So that's pretty much all I got going here. Not the most exciting thing in the world. I'm just going to continue to kind of layer on where I can fit everything in there. Maybe we'll do a couple of those like that. I don't know. It's kind of going with the flow here. <laughs> This is what I have so far. I worked on that much of it. <laughs> but um, I was starting to pick up a little bit of speed so I felt more comfortable and I added a little bit more glue instead of just one uh, row at a time, I added more glue so that way I could stack a little bit faster. But, but once you get going, you get a little bit more comfortable with it. You can just add a little bit more glue, I guess, and, and keep going that way. But yeah, so my pattern isn't anything. I'm assuming this is what you would call the scatter pattern I, I don't know <laughs> but like I said I'm no professional we are going to be kind of learning together maybe we'll learn a little bit more patterns as we go also another thing I did notice is you just got to be careful making sure that they're all firmly pressed against uh, whatever surface you're putting them on because when you slide it in there if that glue's not dry the row before it might push your little rhinestones kind of up so you just have to go back through and just be diligent and kind of check, triple check, double check, make sure everything's firmly pressed down so that way, you know, nothing pops off on you when you go to wash it the next day. Yeah, I could have swore I said I wasn't going to put too many of these, these bigger ones on there, but here I am. <laughs> I just really like the way they look. I think they look super cool. They look like bubbles. So I think to finish this off, I'm just going to kind of do like an ombre type look so maybe I'll have some kind of scattered down I don't know if I want to fully put stuff on here or not I haven't decided yet now I think I'm just gonna kind of lightly trickle some down so I'm gonna make like this U shape it'll go a little bit further down I know she ain't perfect at all, <laughs> but I, I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing all right, okay? All right, now I'm just gonna fill in the those lines that I did there to kind of finish it up.
just have a few more to go here. I didn't time myself. I have no idea how long this took me. I don't, I feel like it didn't take me that long, you know, but you know, I don't know. I, I didn't time myself. So <laughs> maybe next time I'll, I'll time myself. I think I did. Okay. <laughs> See if I can get my line a little bit straighter here. There we go. It is so hard to tell which ones are not pressed down and which ones are like I'm I'm like nervous some of them aren't pressed down but that's okay. I just come back through and fix it after everything's all dry and kind of pop it out and fix it. I'm assuming. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll see how she she's looking. All right, I lied. I added a couple more of these like. Just in, like in groupings of three. There we go. Now it's done. <laughs> I'm going to let that dry. All right. So for this one, I am yeah, going to go ahead and move on to this one. I'm just going to do where the gold is at on this. And I'm going to be using Heaven Light for that. So um, it's looking like I'm going to need a couple different sizes for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the whole thing and kind of pour out a little bit. All I'm going to do is just, I'm probably just going to kind of outline because it probably should move pretty fast. So I'm just going to take my glue, do a very thin bead of my glue right around. You know what? Maybe I'll start with the words first. I think I'm going to start with the, the middle and then do the, the circle around the outside. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to very small amount of glue. This size here. Perfect. up here Make sure it's even and pressed down now this one does make me nervous because I am giving this to somebody so I want it to be perfect Pretty. Love it. Love it. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the circle and I'll get started on that. My circle look. She look okay. Look all right. Look how pretty that color is. Goodness. All right. Now I have left to do is that portion there. done with that cute cute this was so much more easier on this little turner thing <laughs> but so I just filled in with some bigger ones and some smaller ones where they would fit and just kind of lined everything up with that now I'm just making sure everything's nice and pressed down everything looks even I accidentally glued one down right here and I guess the glue's already starting to kind of set up and I I mean it was very difficult to get off so <laughs> that that glue works very very well so now all I'm going to let this do is just sit and dry, but I am pretty happy with how that looks. Oh my goodness. So, so pretty. Love it. Okay. So I was really nervous when I first started, but I have to say it was quite easy. It's a long process, but it is super easy. And after I got going with it, I felt a lot more comfortable with that. At first I would 
I was nervous and I think I might have put too much glue on there but again not a big deal so now I have a fancy exacto knife to use for my tutorials but I'm not going to use it yet today because it the glue has dried a little bit but it needs to be like fully dry so I probably won't be using it for um at least a day or so but I think that's super duper cute love how that turned out and I'll make sure to put the rhinestones that I used into the description box for you guys okay so in case you want to check those out now my little tumbler my little rhinestoner turner thing so cute I love it it just it made it a lot easier this is ready to come off too so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and I'll show you guys this is all dry kind of let everything sit for a little bit but look how cute that is it really does kind of like elevate your design and like I said I, I've been so nervous to try it maybe that's why I haven't done it because I've just been too nervous to do it but honestly guys it really isn't that hard it really isn't the hardest part <laughs> the hardest part for me was um trying to see uh to make sure that they were all pushed down because for especially for this I kept pushing back up onto each other and it kept kind of lifting some before it but I they're all pressed down I made sure so that that was the only thing you just really got to make sure they're nice and flush against it but so so cute now I, th I don't think I'm gonna do with these all I did was put a coat of epoxy over it put, I'm gonna be putting the logos on it and that's pretty much it for those now <laughs> now I have to get started on 20 more tumblers uh, they're gonna be wood grain tumblers with it's like a Movember you know for a men's prostate I think thing so I'm going to be doing 20 of those. They're just wood grains. So they're pretty simple. They're not glittered or anything like that. So I'll be getting started on that next week. And I'm also going to be getting started on, I started this up. I'll show you guys how I did it. I don't know how I'm going to finish this up yet, but I really am liking how it's looking so far. So, and I'm thinking of using some, some rhinestones on this as well. So next week, next weekend, I'll show you guys. I did this and we'll get started on finishing that up. Now I have a tumbler here that I purchased through k and Tumbler Designs. I wanted to show you guys how pretty. Isn't that cute? I loved it so much. I had to get it. She, she does such an amazing job. I'll make sure to put her Facebook page and her Etsy page down in the description box for you guys so that way you guys can go check her out, show her some love and all that fun stuff. And look at that cute straw. You even got cute little straw to go with it. Adorable. I absolutely love it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you're not too nervous. You've seen me do it. Okay. If I can do it, I know you guys can, can do it too. I know you got this. All right. <laughs> it's very simple. Start out small. Okay. Start out with something personal of your own. So that way you're not messing up anything and you can use it too. You know, nobody's going to know your little imperfections. Okay. Nobody's going to pick up your item and really be looking at it but it's a great way to kind of get started with it for sure and then you can kind of move on to something else I <laughs> I was nervous to do this because this was the finished product but it was so extremely easy very simple you just want to make sure you don't put too much glue down so that way the glue is just not like bulging out the sides or anything and then when I give it a good scrub tomorrow we'll see if I did a good job <laughs> that's that's when we'll know okay but these colors are just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I, I love it so much. Anything sparkly, you know, I'm good. <laughs> but like I said, next week we're going to be doing this. I got to get started on 20 wood grain tumblers. These will be done. These will be done. But pretty simple. All I got to do is epoxy, like I said, and put the, the little logos on. That's pretty much all I'm going to be doing with that. So well, I'm going to go in and I'm going to make uh, Christmas cookies with the kids. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and do that. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.